All right, so we've talked about expressions before, and an expression is just a number sentence that looks like this one with addition, subtraction, and we have numbers. Now we're going to switch gears and we're going to talk about a variable expression. And a variable expression is the same thing, but now we have some variables. So now I've inserted a variable x into this expression. So now I have this, which is a variable expression, and it's read 2x squared plus 3x plus 5. Alright, you need your orange math book out, and you need to open it to chapter 3, problem 25. So if you don't have your math book, pause this video. Alright, so I'm assuming you have your math book, and we're looking at problem 25 in chapter 3. And this is part of that problem, and we have some key vocab terms that I want to talk about. So we have a variable expression, and we have some uh, algebra tiles that go along with this algebraic expression. And so we have the word constant. It's right here, constant. A constant is going to refer to a number in a expression, specifically our algebraic expression here, our variable expression, that has no variable with it. Okay? You should be taking notes, by the way, in your toolkit, in your learning log section. So if you're not, pause, rewind a little bit, and start over. All right. The second vocab term here is the word coefficient. And the word coefficient goes along with the number that is in front of the variable. So the word coefficient tells us that there are three of the x squared terms. And by that I mean there are three x squared tiles. One, two, three. And that would also tell me that there are four of the x tiles. One, two, three, four. So you probably heard me say the word terms. That's another vocab word. And here in this expression, the same expression we've been looking at, there are three terms. A term is separated by addition or subtraction. In this case, just addition. So we have three terms. One, two, three. Those are all terms. All right, so let's review some of those vocabulary words. So what is the word for this whole number sentence? You should have called it a variable expression. Oh, I'm going to run out of room. Or you could have called it an algebraic expression. I use those two terms for this number sentence. Okay? All right, so let's look at this same expression, variable expression, algebraic expression. Where is the constant? Well, the constant should be 2, right here. How many terms. Well, you should have said three. So, one, two, three. What is the variable in this expression? Well, we use the same, we have x, and then we have the variable x squared, two separate variables. What is the coefficient of the x term? 
The coefficient of the x term should be the 6. Tells me I have 6 of the x's. How about the coefficient of the x squared? That would be 3. Remember, the word coefficient tells me how many of each of those variables I have. And it comes before the variable. Last things to check before you're done with this video. In your tool toolkit that you created in your learning log, you should have the following vocabulary words written down. Term, coefficient, variable, expression, variable expression or algebraic expression, and the word constant. You should also have an example of a variable expression. So for instance, you should have something like 3x squared plus 2x plus 8 written down and an example of each of those vocabulary terms and how to identify them. If you do not, you need to redo this video and your learning log entry.